I have a YouTube channel. So guys, I was driving by and I looked to my right and I saw a setup exactly what I would like to do here in the Philippines. It is a aquaponics lettuce farm. And the lady was so gracious enough to let me come and see her farm. Now I wanna do hydroponic, I mean uh, aquaponics, she's doing hydroponics, um, excuse me. And uh, here she has her seedlings. So when they get big enough, she can transfer them into their little cups. But this is the next big business here in the Philippines. And there's actually a guy named Dexter's World and another guy, his name escapes me, who has a farm in uh, Manila. But as you can see, she has room to expand here. And I was ex just explaining to her about the floating foam method where you just keep moving the trays of foam down so you'll always have a harvest. Once it gets to the end, you have a harvest and then you put your seedlings and then they go to the next stage and the next stage and the next stage and then you just constantly put new seedlings so you always have a harvest every week. Um, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Beautiful setup and one I hope to have in the near future. So I'm just taking a little adventure ride this afternoon it's around 5 p.m here in the philippines and i'm on the island of Panglao. and yeah thank you very much for letting me see your uh and your name again Miley. Miley. you want to tell everyone about your uh the name of your company yeah this is it is letter farm farm okay. from Tutuland, Dawis, Bohol. okay thank you for letting me see your farm yeah. i appreciate it thank you so guys i just left the um lettuce farm which you just saw and I took a ride through the middle of Peng Lao and now I'm on the side of the island where Alana Beach is but I'm close to Tagabjorn as you can see in the distance um, that's the main island of Bohol and you see the mountains in the background and the water and the clouds just such a beautiful view Kids playing. It's a gorgeous view. Here you are, the security guard down there. And there's a place called the Bahol Social Club right down here. So it's right on the water, and I've actually been here before. Um, you'll go down that walkway there, down to the bottom, and then it's just straight water, but they have like a little ledge you can. Um, it on and when I was here before last time uh, kids were down there playing it was families and they were foraging for something but of course I couldn't get a an answer from them whether that I don't know if they spoke English or they were just too shy to talk but they were laughing and giggling when I was asking them questions amongst themselves so I'm pretty sure they understood what I was saying but yeah this is just one of the views you'll see while you're here I'm actually planning a trip to a beach, White Sand Beach, that's all the way, all the way on the end of um, Bohol, on the eastern shore. Um, so it'd be close to Leyte. I believe there's even a ferry that takes you over to Leyte from that side. So it would be taking the coast along here and going around the side um, for quite some time past Loma Beach and. Valencia, so yeah, gorgeous. You can see in the distance there, it looks like it's raining with that, uh, I guess you can't see it, my finger. Well, anyways, it looks like it's raining. Ah, uh, there you go. Where that white stuff is there, the clouds. I don't know if you can see it too well. But I've traveled all through the middle of that, as you saw in, the, in the, one of the videos, uh, the whole countryside. I actually went to Sierra Bionis past Carmen, past Chocolate Hills and all of that. It was a beautiful ride, it took me about two and a half hours because I kept stopping and videoing um, and stopping and talking to people along the way. And I got caught in the rain and had to sit up there for about an hour and a half till the rain stopped. That was fun, happy, happy, joy, joy. I actually didn't post any of those videos. Leave in the comments if you want me to post those videos and I surely will uh, show. I think I put a little snippet where I showed the water, it was raining so hard the water was bouncing off the ground. But anyways, I'm gonna continue my little journey 
through the countryside of Peng Lao. So I like to go off the beaten path. So I was off the main highway, then just take a little turn to the left into this foliage and you'll see just regular people's homes, Nipa huts, uh, homes being built. Uh, just great. I'm, I'll try and get some footage and show you. All right. So this is what drive off the beaten path. There's lots of little mini resorts in the cut. Um, so, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> so there's like buses, I guess, taking people to the to little personal resorts and stuff here that people have. But this is what it looks like in the cut, guys. You know, you have some homes like this. You have some trucks that you try not to get hit while you're riding a scooter with one hand and a phone in the other. Stupid me. But this building here. And for the most part, the people here are the nicest people. I find they're nicer here than they are in the city. And there's a very pretty young ladies here as well. Province girls. Just a simple life. Love it. So it's just a little Thursday evening drive through the countryside of well, Peng Lao on Lona Beach or in the direction of Alona Beach. So I just take, you know, one of those side roads like that off the main highway and it takes me wherever it takes me and I just drive. See the mountain in the middle. I guess that's like the Darius, Darius area. Beautiful, nice, peaceful, quiet. All right, I'm gonna put the phone up and enjoy my ride. Thanks for tuning in. So this is the main highway coming up. As you can see, they're doing like a paving project here. Hello. Come on, Rod. So this is the main highway. And like I said, I just turn off and drive around. Just a great way to explore. You don't really need a map or anything. Just need to know how to circumnavigate back to the main highway. So this runs along the coast and goes around the whole island. And then there's a, hello. <laughs> Come on, stop, Brad. <laughs> So like I said, the kids, everyone's really friendly. But there's a main highway that runs through the middle of the island too as well. Um, and this will go around the whole island. And the Peng Lao Airport is in the middle of the island at the end in between Peng Lao and Alona Beach. So I'm headed back this way to Tag the Bjorn. I've got a cold beer and a bottle of tequila waiting for me. Thanks for tuning in. I know I keep saying state thanks for tuning in. But I have to go I did. You can see it's really busy. Everyone's coming to get the food from these little markets over here. But I usually get my vegetables from this stall that's right there. See those nice fresh vegetables over there. Kuya's gonna stop right there, I guess. Thanks, Kuya. So I haven't filmed it, and I will film it. But this is a little market on the pier or bridge going over to the island where Peng Lao and Alona Beach are. Peng Lao, you'd actually go to the other bridge Alona, you take this straight down. But anyways, I've been going to this little market and picking up vegetables and cooking fresh vegetable medley 
for myself for dinner every night. So guys, like I said before, the video is getting long, 14 minutes long. So I'm just adding this in. I did decide to throw the noodles in. And the last process will be the cabbage. So I'm coming to my spot. I've been coming through for the last couple days to get my vegetables. And I see something move. And it's a gecko. Sitting on the onions. Gecko. <laughs> so they have a fish market here, but this lady sold me bad crabs, knew they were bad, so I will never buy food from them again. I've come here for crabs and they have them, but they're always so, so small. Maybe I can take a peek really quick. So, where are the crabs? I don't see them. I love how everyone just takes their own sweet time. Welcome to the Philippines. So I don't see them now. They are gone. Or I just don't see them and don't have the patience to look for them. Excuse me. <clears throat> I thought they were on this table over here when I pull up, but they're not. So there's some type of shells here. I don't know what they are. And they always have squid. I guess someone came and swooped them up just that fast. Hot commodity, but they were just too small for me. So, anyways, I'm gonna hop on the motor, head on back to the place I'm staying at. So I'm out riding again in the countryside. I'm just gonna mash these videos up. But here's another great view vantage point. I'm in the hills in Peng Lao. Just such a beautiful vantage point. Water so turquoise. Unfortunately, I'm unable to go snorkeling. I just got my tooth pulled, so I have a open sore in my mouth, and I don't think it's too smart to uh, swim and get bacteria or salt water or whatever's in the water in my mouth. So yeah, just wanted to show you that. So I took one of those left turns and took it so I couldn't go any further. And it took me to these steps, which I came down, hopped over. It looks like there's some abandoned wreck boats over there and someone put their boat up here. There's a gentleman, I don't know if you can see. He has his wetsuit on and he's going underwater to 